Just for you and me No more shopping frantically Come and show me how to cook I can learn without a book My eyes are on your every move Jane You always turn my appetite The things you do turn out just right To my delight I'm waiting for a rainy day To try I'll learn today. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here, crank up this pan and put a little tiny bit of water in it. But, you know, not much. I don't want a lot because I'm just going to steam this cauliflower. And I want to make a little sauce for it. Excuse me. Hello? Cauliflower dessert. Just hang in there. Just wait. Look, Mum, I told you, okay? She never believes me. Um, now, a little bit of butter in with this water and just bring it up to the boil. What you do with the cauliflower is to cut the bottom off it and then it breaks up into the way it was made. So you can actually just cut around the little stalks and there's all those little flowerettes. That's why it's called a cauliflower. All right, so break it off. There it is in bits. And everybody knows how to make cauliflower cheese. Well, this is an Italian approach to it, which is slightly different. All right. So there we are with our bit of cauliflower. Water's boiling. Butter's boiling. Butter's melting. In goes the cauliflower. And it doesn't need to go in there for long because we're just going to... This is a great dish for dinner parties. This is something you know, people never seen it before. They'd be absolutely delighted. Now, put the lid on that and let it steam for just a couple of minutes. While we're doing that, take an apple and cut out the middle of the apple, the little core, a bit out of there, and just pack that out of there. It'll come out faster with a sharper knife. Mm. There we are. Just take the pits out. Because you know about eating apple pits. You eat apple pits and leaves grow out of your ears. I told you. All right. Cut it up into slices. And about a quarter of an inch thick. And this knife needs sharpening. I'm going to do that in just a minute. There's our apple ready to go. All right. Move that out of the way. Get that knife out of the way. There's a bit more apple. Thought it didn't look enough. Okay, apple. Green onions. There. Keep the green bits for decorating later. Cheese. All right. Just grate it into flakes because we're going to use this for, for a topping. All right. Now... That'll do. All right, now everything's ready. Turn that off, take the lid off, get ourselves a baking dish. A baking dish, a little tiny bit of oil on it, not much, just enough to, let me show you how to make it spread. This is what your finger is for. Just finger it around there and just give it a little so that the edges of the dish are all nicely oiled. And in goes the cauliflower. It's just blanched. It's quicker to do it this way than it is to get a whole pot full of boiling water going. You just want it lightly cooked because it's going to go in the oven. This is Italian style cauliflower. All right? Just dump the whole lot in there. And just about now, we're lucky that just about covers the bottom of the pan. Put that over there. Now, the apple in with it. I know it looks weird, but this is you trust me, trust me, trust me. And put the green onions in with it. Now, there's a lot of heat in there already because the cauliflower got heated up, right? We want some a piece more apple. We want some parsley. Let's have some of the bouquet and chop up some parsley. that. There. Put the, 
parsley over the top of it. Pepper. Of course we have to have pepper. Pepper on everything, don't we? I'll pepper on there like that. And a little, whoops, a little bit of salt. Right, a little bit of salt like that. There. Now, what we do is sprinkle breadcrumbs over the top. Just lightly sprinkle breadcrumbs over the top like that. Over the top of the breadcrumbs. You got it. Cheese. That's what we do the cheese for. Now, this is the real secret for this thing. On top of the cheese, you put some anchovies. And you just lay them on the top. And you straighten them out. Make them all look pretty. Put the whole thing in the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 minutes. That's all you gotta do. I'll be back. Celebrate the Great Books Festival all weekend on TLC. I'm Betty. This is Pat. Hi. We're the Reynolds Wrap Kitchen's home economists. To show the best way to wrap sandwiches, we put one in Reynolds Wrap, the other in a plastic sandwich bag. Pat's gonna field test them. How's it hold up? Looks like Reynolds Wrap is the best wrap for your kids' sandwiches. One more reason, Reynolds has it all wrapped up. It's the most popular meat in the world, and it's not what you're thinking. It's multilingual, multi-coastal. It's every day and everywhere. It's at home, and it's abroad. It's north, it's south, it's east, it's west, it's pork, and it's what the world is coming to. The other white meat. Taste what's next. Now, we've got Italian-style cauliflower in the oven, all right? And we're going to do now a um, sort of East Indian style. Not totally authentic, but as the best we can do with what we've got. Now, if we're going to use some spices, and we're going to use we're going to use some sort of nice things. But if you haven't got them, don't worry. Use some curry powder. That's all you got. Everybody can buy curry powder, even if you're up in the dreadful north. You can still buy curry powder. I read a cookbook for northern. I read sort of built for for the Inuit at one time, and it said curry powder and canned milk. They were using that instead of coconut milk. Well, we're not going to even bother. What we're going to do, first of all, is heat up the fry pan, and we're going to put in about two tablespoonfuls of oil. It's a vegetarian dish, all right? Now, just think of this. What we're going to do right now is fry some of the spices, and the first spices we're going to fry for this dish is pepper. Look at that, black pepper. All right. When you fry black pepper, it changes character. I also learned from Chinese cooks. I know this is an East Indian dish, but you learn things from people all over the place, and that's how you get to be big and strong and grow up, is learning from other people. I learned to fry salt, so I'm going to put in about half a teaspoonful of salt. Frying salt changes the, the nature of it. We're going to put some spices in there. Cumin seed. Right, about a teaspoonful of cumin seed. If you haven't got cumin seed, then use ground cumin. If you haven't got ground cumin, as I say, use curry powder. I'm going to put in a little bit of cayenne pepper, that's the pepper flakes, and I'm going to put in some turmeric. Now, I'm not going to put this turmeric, I'm not going to put it in my hand, because it stains brilliant yellow. And I don't want it to stain brilliant yellow, because I, I keep my hands off. I'm going out tonight, I've got a date, okay? Now, we just stir those spices around in the hot oil until we can smell them. And you can see a little, little smoke coming up there and immediately you throw in the cauliflower, the flowers of cauliflower, all right? We're gonna put in with it, let's put those over there, a little bit of ginger. Oh, the smell of this is just quite wonderful. Ah, I'm gonna chop the ginger up because I want it the flavors to come out quickly and if you haven't got fresh ginger then use powder it won't taste totally the same but it'll taste almost the same right i know that the purists are going to be phoning and saying 
that's not the way you do it. I know it's not, but I'm not from East India. I'm not from the Indian subcontinent. I'm from here, and this is the best I can do with what I've got. But look at what's happening to that. That's starting to turn into a great color. All right, now we want some liquid in there. How do you put liquid in? Well, there's lots and lots of liquid in tomatoes, and there's lots of liquid in most vegetables. So what we're gonna do is throw in there at one tomato, and then just to get some more liquid, we'll put in another tomato. All right, just chop the little bit of wood out of the middle of tomatoes, cut the tomato up, not for any purpose other than to get it cooked in a hurry and let its juices all come out. But look, suddenly we got color in here, all right? Now look at the color of that, red and yellow and white. It's not only the color of it, but stir everything in so that all those spices we fried are all gonna get sort of in there like that. They're all gonna get in there and we'll crank the heat up high and to accelerate it, we'll put in a little tiny smidge of liquid. Now, doesn't matter what it is, wine, beer, water. I use a little bit of water because it's a simple dish, right? So just about two tablespoonfuls of water. Give it a great squirt, put the lid on, keep the steam in, let it all steam. And while that's happening, we've got some rice cooking because you want to eat rice with this, all right? And we've got peas ready to go. We want to cut up some coriander. Now we'll just cut this coriander and put the stalks over there. If you'd wanted to put garlic in this, put a little bit of garlic in with the cauliflower, not with the spices because garlic, because garlic burns. But I left the garlic out today because I don't know, just felt like it. Cut up this coriander and do, let's have a lot of it because it really has got this nice musty flavor. Some people can't stand the taste of this and if you can't stand the taste of it, then use parsley. All right, but this nice mushy, musty leaf is really wonderful. Now look what's happening in here. It's starting to steam and it's starting. Now push this all aside, look. That's making its own curry sauce with that little tiny bit of water in. A lot more water now coming out of the cauliflower. Toss it all around so it looks beautiful, right? So it just looks gorgeous. And then when it's about, just want to get a little bit soft, put that on there for another minute, give it a good bit of heat and just stop and think about it. That's what you do sometimes when you cook, you stop and think it's a meditative process. You just enjoy yourself doing it. What that needs in there right now is something to bring it all together. Now look, what do we put in? Peas. And if all you've got is frozen peas, then put in some frozen peas. We have enough salt in there, we hope, to... Oh look, look at that. We have enough salt in there to flavor the whole dish. And put that chopped cilantro coriander on the top of it. We get ourselves a really great dish. And... Whoops, out she comes, looking utterly gorgeous. Spicy. Smell it, isn't that nice? I'll be back. I hate to clean. That's why I love this fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving a film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. Fantastic. So clean, it squeaks. I'm Betty. This is Pat. We're the Reynolds Wrap Kitchen's home economy. Welcome to our cookout. We're steaming vegetables, grilling potatoes, garlic bread, and trout that Pat caught fresh this morning. I'm using Reynolds Wrap heavy-duty aluminum foil to make my entire meal. Here's what happens when you don't. Heavy-duty Reynolds Wrap protects foods from scorching, sticking, and falling through the rack. One more reason, Reynolds has it all wrapped up. This looks done. New Ultra Palm Olive is so powerful, just a little bit cuts the toughest grease. Yeah, baked on grease, caked on grease, caramelized grease, elbow grease. Ooh, good one. Ultra Tough, Ultra Soft, Ultra Palm Olive. TLC, daytime.
We talk about everything from hair and makeup to fashion to inspirational stories. We get such energy from the audience. They're people like you. No, really. This is a very hard job. Dream living is all about bringing fantasy to life. The same question, the same dreams. I am just, I am so excited. By the way, it's all improvised. To you, the personal touch. New hosts, a new daytime, beginning September 30th on TLC. Sprint's dime a minute rate is getting rave reviews. Sprint Sense is great. I can call my sister in Kansas for only 10 cents a minute. Now I call my folks in New York three times a week. For just a dime a minute, why not? That's right. All over the country, people have been signing up for Sprint's simple low rate. Call now and you'll pay just 10 cents a minute on state-to-state -state calls every evening, every night, and all weekend long. We've got a daughter in college in Los Angeles, so 10 cents a minute is terrific for us. And it's just 10 cents a minute to Canada on weekends. So what are you waiting for? Call now. You know what I like best? When I call back home, I'm earning 10% cash back. It's like a great big tip at the end of the year. And Sprint's dime a minute rate is good forever. So call now. Dime a minute? I rate it at 10. You just can't beat Sprint Sense. Get a dime a minute and 10% cash back. Call now. 1-800-913-9724. Italian style cauliflower. Now look at that. It's got all those lovely fragrances in it. And don't forget the anchovies. It's all floated through and it smells wonderful. Okay? Now, I promised you cauliflower dessert. All right, let's do it. This is really something else. This will just blow you away. It's very, very good and it marries together things that people usually, two things that people love to hate. One is cauliflower and the other is semolina when i was at school we used to get semolina pudding i think about three times a week and uh, believe you me it was not very popular because it usually tasted like wallpaper paste and it can indeed taste like wallpaper paste if you let it but let's try a different thing i've got the pan on let me put a little tiny bit of water in there get it boiling while we're doing this put the pan on and get some cauliflower ready to go. Now, this cauliflower is not one of your dishes that needs crispness and crunchiness in it. It needs the texture. And there is a texture in cauliflower. There's a texture in everything. It's a great mistake to say, I don't eat this and I don't eat that, because just doing that turns you off from an awful lot of experiences. It's like getting a new job or getting anything else. Just try something different. Now what I'm going to do here is chop this up. See, we're not leaving it in flowers. I'm going to chop it up. And I don't need all of it, so I'll chop up about half a cauliflower. And if you are a little worried about this, don't tell anybody what you've done. Just cook it. Chop it up fairly small. And what I've done here is get that get the pan good and hot with water with a little bit of water and I'm going to pour most of it off leave about a tablespoonful in there and put in instead a tablespoonful of butter and then I'm going to throw in all the chopped up cauliflower now the butter and that little tiny bit of water will float around and this is all we're going to do just float it all around like that melt it just make sure that all of the cauliflower gets a little touch of the butter on it because what we're doing when you cook I, you know i said lots of times it's like getting married it's like getting you tighten things up together they get used to one another it takes a little time it's not easy and it never happens in a hurry and so we'll just get a little bit of butter married up to the little bit of cauliflower right because that'll sort of cook it. We're not going to get it brown. No. Okay? No. Semolina. We've talked about semolina. Everybody knows about semolina. Not too much. Two tablespoonfuls of semolina. Sprinkle it over the top. That's two tablespoons of semolina. Put in a little bit of extra. Okay? And a little tiny pinch of salt. Because it's dessert. But all desserts need a contrast of sweet and sour. So we've got semolina stirred around, 
just slightly fried in there with the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Now some sugar. We want about uh, three, we don't want too much in there, about three tablespoons of sugar. Put a bit less. You can always sprinkle it on afterwards. I think desserts are much nicer if you don't put too much sugar in them to start with. Now look, no milk. All right. Now add the milk slowly and stir it in to the semolina. Now watch what happens in here. Watch what happens. The milk starts to work together with the semolina. Semolina starts to thicken up. Semolina just starts to thicken itself up. And what we've got in there is the pudding emerging. No. We put in some cardamoms. You can get whole cardamoms. I don't know if I've got any whole cardamoms in here or not. Uh, no, I haven't. All I've got is some um, no, powdered cardamom. That's all right. So put in about half a teaspoonful of ground cardamom. Stir that in. See, it's starting to thicken up. So we put a little bit more, a little bit more milk in there and it slowly starts to turn itself into a pudding. Now, it's not very credible to you at the moment. I know there's sugar, cardamom, and cauliflower, a little pinch of salt, and some milk. And the cauliflower and the, and the, and the semolina are cooking together. Now, what I'd like to see if I've got in here, aha. Potato mashers aren't just for mashing potatoes. Let's mash up this cauliflower a little bit now that it's sort of cooked so that we get little nuttiness is in there. And what we've done is squash out squash out the, the great big lumps. Right. You can put it through the whizzer if you like, but I prefer it. Whoops. I prefer it with um, with lump, little bits of lumps in it. Now we take a little bit more milk. And what you do with this is to get a pan, get a, a dish or a bowl here. This one will do. And you put it in, see, it's fairly thick. You pour it into a dish, all right? And you sort of flatten it down a little bit. And you put it in the fridge for half an hour. You can eat it hot, but I'm going to put it in the fridge for half an hour, and then you cut it up into slabs. But I'm just going to put it away there. I made one earlier, and I'll show you what happens to it in a minute, as soon as I get back. Dead easy and indecently delicious. Peasant's Choice Cookbook, with more of the best recipes from the urban peasant. Over 200 of James Barber's simply and downright sinfully wonderful dishes. Everything from six-pack stew to samosas, plus full-color photos, behind-the-scenes shots, cooking tips, and amusing anecdotes by James. Peasant's Choice, just $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-561-9966. Ask for Operator 6. Hi, honey. I'm stuck at work. Can you get something to eat? Han, I'm late again. Can you get something to eat? Yeah, I know it was my night to cook. I'm really sorry. Easy recipe to the rescue. Just saute chicken and add easy recipe sauce, pasta, and crisp bird's eye veggies. You've got a complete meal in only 15 minutes. Are you there? Pick up. Are you there? Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Life may be hard, but with easy recipe, dinner's easy from bird's eye. The fresh look for vegetables. Good news, this Ultra Palm Olive Antibacterial is ultra concentrated. So just a little bit gets grease off dishes. And germs off hands. Wow, that's really good news. Yeah, unless you're a germ. It's the Ultra Anti-Germ Palm Olive. Coming up, get creative. Make fun, useful things for around the house. Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company shows you how. Then, get into gardening naturally with Barbara and Elliot right here on TLC. I'm Andre Brower. Want an adventure for your mind? Celebrate the great stories behind the great books. Ideas that shape the way we think and live. Feel the power of the Great Books Festival. All weekend on TLC. All right, dessert. Now there's the improbables, all right? Our cauliflower dessert 
drizzle a little bit of honey over the top of it and grate a little bit of chocolate on it and it will blow them away. And that's what you do. Just look at that. Isn't that pretty? Right. We cooked cauliflower. We did the Italian style sort of cauliflower cheese, but it's got apple in it and it's got nice anchovies in it. It's got lovely special flavors coming out. It's a pretty, pretty dish. And then finally talking about pretty, just look at that full gobi. Look at that lovely lovely dish of cauliflower and peas and tomatoes real vegetarian delight if you wanted to eat it with a little bit of yogurt on it that's fine too you know that makes it look but don't do this till the last minute and there you are that's the way to cook get on with it even if you've never done it before take a chance have a go A little tiny bit of water in a pan and it'll heat up a lot quicker than a whole pot full. And if you cut the vegetables up, steam them quickly, you got it done in a hurry and, you know, you can get on with the rest of it. Next on TLC, would you like to express your creativity while making something useful for your home? Join Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company. Then, get into gardening naturally.